Hey, high performers, Ryan here, coming at you with another high performance vet pro touchcast and podcast. And this week, we're actually coming up on the subject of sex and intimacy, and actually fits into our our work life balance topic. And we'll be back in a moment just to talk a little bit more about sex and intimacy and how it fits into not just your home life, but your work life as well. Hey, high performers, Ryan here, and this week on the TouchCast and the podcast, we want to kind of go down one of these, what some would consider a controversial topic. Matter of fact, as we've kind of introduced this topic over the week, we've actually lost a few followers, and that's okay with us because what we're trying to do is we're trying to find the latest and the most helpful information, and a lot of times it's even out-of-the-box thinking so that we can actually provide you with great ways to have a complete life and a holistic as in w-h-o-l-e and that's so we want the whole life and that includes business life and everything we talk about from sleep and nutrition and exercise and how you handle stress but included in that work-life balance is sexual health and intimacy and most people will never consider or really think about how sexual health can actually impact your performance you know, it's been, you know, kind of one of those long controversial things about how a athlete who is getting ready for competition will abstain from sex, or we have this kind of thought process of sex even goes to the back of the line for us. It's, I have to think of everything about work, my kids, all these things, but my sexual health is never really one of those things that I think about. Yet, on the other hand, we also have lots of drugs that are there to help us perform better and there's this whole disconnect of things that are going on here in the u.s from from the sexual health and i don't i'm sure it's not just here but it's worldwide but we tend to be very conservative whenever it comes to talking about sex so we really want to kind of bring at it from this this is going to help your performance versus hurting your performance to be in a taboo topic for us so from sexual health uh, and intimacy with your partner, there's a lot that actually comes from it. So we have obviously lots of neurotransmitters and hormones that, that come from uh, touch, feeling, skin, uh, from nutrition, from lots of parts of our life that are really amplified whenever we're in a very healthy sexual relationship. So. Um, the one thing we were actually just listening the other day to a podcast with a, a sex health coach, Kim Anami, and she's uh, talking a lot about with women and uh, how they're disconnected from their bodies. But men as well. So we really kind of get this whole thing about where men are the very sexual creatures, women are not, and the whole taboo of the uh, Madonna versus the slut. There's all these different things that this mentalities that come into into play on sexual health so we really want you to think about okay how is my sex life or my sex and intimacy really coming into play in my performance if I am not sexually satisfied or I'm not sexually satisfying my partner what what is their mentality and what is their state how are they thinking about things are they having feelings of depression? Are they having feelings of anger? Am I feeling those things? What is going on? And we'll see that a lot from from the sexual perspective. You know, it can be, I'm sure there's things that can be related to road rage and everything else from are people really well fulfilled in their relationship and intimate parts of their lives. And they go hand in hand, but they are completely separate. So if you really kind of think about this sexual intimacy, whenever I am in deep connection with my partner, then our sex life is typically going to be better or is going to be a better relationship uh, from an all around perspective. Um, what things we, uh, we maybe do from a pleasurable standpoint for that person, how we feel about them, is it about them or is it about us? What all goes on in this thought process of sex and intimacy? At the same time is how do I carry this over into my work life and it's because if I'm not stressed 
because I am happy, healthy. I've actually, my body is going through all the natural processes that I have. I'm also going to be much less stressed at work as well as in my home life. Things are not going to be as tense. I may not be as apt to snap at somebody or I may be able to handle the uh, handle life a little bit better. Um, we also kind of brought up the concept of sex and orgasm and um, and ejaculation and all these types of things in, in the week for our action tips. So there's a lot that's going to go there and you know for a little short five minute video this is not where we're uh, going to have time to go into all of that but we'll definitely explore this a little bit more as we go along. So anyway uh, let us know what your thoughts are concerning the your sex, intimacy, and your relationships, and how that can affect your work-life balance. We want to hear your thoughts. You know, is this too controversial for you? We don't think it is. We think this is things that you need to hear, and we look forward to some feedback from you. So leave us a rating on iTunes. Leave us some feedback there or review. Uh, same thing on SoundCloud, Spreaker, and on Stitcher Radio, any of those locations. You can also obviously let us know on TouchCast, YouTube, any of those locations as well. So we look forward to hearing from you and we'll talk to you real soon. This is Ryan for High Performance Vet Pro TouchCast and Podcast.